Hi, I'm Angela, and today, Yanir and I are going to teach you how to use AI Pin. AI Pin is a new type of computer designed for natural interaction. Instead of typing away at a keyboard or scrolling endlessly on a screen, you interact with it naturally, using your voice, speaking as you would to a family member or friend. And because it's powered by intelligence, AI Pin transforms into your personal expert, researcher, interpreter, and more saving you time and the work of having to figure things out on your own. Let's take a look around before we get started. This is the touchpad. Use your fingers to tap or swipe on it whenever you wanna communicate with AI Pin or control its various features. The sensors inside of the optical capsule allow AI Pin to see your hands when you're using the laser ink display, and they make it possible to take a picture or video whenever you wanna capture a moment. Above the capsule is the trust light, which lets you and those around you know when the microphone or camera are active. When the light is off, AI pin is not in use. When it's on, it illuminates in the color corresponding to the feature in use. Orange indicates the microphone is active. Green signifies the camera and video are in use. And magenta is for when you're on a phone call. AI pin features a beacon light that activates whenever something important occurs whether it's alerts from trusted contacts, notification from essential services, or other significant updates, they all surface here, eliminating the need for a screen to stay informed. The speaker on AI Pin allows you to hear voice and music. You can effortlessly adjust its volume from loud to a whisper with just a single swipe of your finger. AI Pin has two microphones, one at the top near the speaker and the other at the bottom. They work together to make sure AI Pin can hear your voice clearly even in loud environments or if you need to speak softly. The magnetic booster extends AI Pin's battery life when it's attached. It'll keep AI Pin charging, and when it's empty, you can just swap it out for another and keep going without any disruption, even during a phone call. This means you can get all day battery life by just swapping boosters as needed. AI Pin can be worn on a wide range of clothes, including jackets, sweaters, and workout clothes. It's best to wear your AI pin on the upper left or right of your chest. This is an ideal perspective for your photos and videos, and it's the most comfortable way to use the laser ink display. To wear it, start by detaching the booster. Simply slide it up, then slip it under your shirt collar in front of your shoulder, and place your AI pin on top. As you're putting on your AI pin, make sure that the booster is aligned correctly for it to work properly. It attaches magnetically in only two ways, either straight up, or down. If it's placed sideways or backwards, it won't attach securely or power up your AI pin. Give it a quick tug to make sure it's secure and you're ready to go. If it doesn't feel secure, you may need an accessory. AI pin is designed to fit comfortably on almost any clothing using the booster, but we designed a suite of other accessories for thicker or thinner fabrics. The latch is designed for lightweight garments or low profile wear, while the clip is perfect for attaching to backpack straps or heavier coats. The core of what makes AI pins so magical is being able to speak to it as naturally as you would speak with a person. Using it is simple. Just place a finger on the touchpad and speak while keeping your finger down. When you're done, just lift your finger and AI pin will get to work. Whether you have a quick question like, where am I? Or you're settling a heated debate and need to ask something more complex like, is Pluto a planet? No, Pluto is not considered a planet according to the International Astronomical Union's definition. AI pin is ready to assist. When you activate the microphone, you're greeted with a friendly chime, and the trust light glows orange, letting you know AI pin is actively listening. It's designed to keep the dialogue going, so you can follow up on the response, or shift topics from asking for a recap of last night's game to finding book recommendations, like, I'm looking for a book similar to Winnie the Pooh. Can you give me one option? Alice's Adventures in Wonderland by Lewis Carroll is a book similar to Winnie the Pooh. You can use your voice to get a world of information, from historical facts and current events to personalized recommendations and creative brainstorming. It's all available for you to ask about. You can even jot down notes to recall them later or ask about your AI pin itself to get info like the battery level. When you have a question about something you're looking at, AI Pin can understand your intention and momentarily open the camera to answer you. Is this outfit appropriate for a cocktail party?
Based on the image, the outfit appears to be more casual and may not be appropriate for a cocktail party. It is recommended to wear a more formal attire such as a suit for a cocktail party. You can direct AI Pin to focus on specific areas by holding things up or pointing towards something while the camera is open. What's one key takeaway from this book? The book is a meditative manifesto that explores the true essence of being an artist and emphasizes the importance of committing to a creative practice. Give me a quick summary of this chapter. This chapter discusses the goal of art to share perspectives and how we see the world. It emphasizes that artists offer a unique view through their experiences and that imperfections can resonate with us as human beings. You can feel free to ask anything. Ever go by a landmark and wonder what it is? Just ask. What's the name of this building? The name of the building is the Conservatory of Flowers. Hosting your friends for dinner and looking for some plant-based options? AI Pin can suggest a recipe. Traveling to a new city and wondering if there are any concerts tonight? Or need help explaining why people dream to a five-year-old? AI Pin can handle that too. AI Pin is designed to adapt to you and your environment. If you want to have a conversation with AI Pin, it can speak out responses, but it can also show you responses visually using the laser ink display on the palm of your hand. For instance, if you ask, what's the weather going to be like in Seoul next week? You don't just have to listen to the answer. Checking weather forecast. By simply raising your hand, your AI Pin will understand that you want to see the response rather than hear it. This is what makes the AI pin multimodal. You can control if the response is spoken or shown, depending on what you need in the moment. The laser ink display will only project onto your hand, and the trust light will glow white from side to side while scanning for your palm. When you raise your hand to laser in for the first time, remember that the optical sensing capsule is angled slightly down, so you may need to place your hand a little lower than you'd expect. If you're having trouble, try this. Start by covering your AI pin with your left or right hand, whichever you prefer and then gradually move your hand down and away from your chest until you hear a sound and see the projection. Now that the laser ink display is on, feel free to relax and adjust your hand so that you can comfortably and clearly see the projection in the center of your palm. After a little practice, you'll learn where the spot is and will be able to simply raise your hand without even thinking about it. Turning the display off is as easy as putting your hand down. It's pretty lightweight. It's there when you need it and gone when you don't. Laser Ink is always available when you're playing music, on a phone call, or asking questions. When you're not using AI Pin, it's idle. To use the Laser Ink display when AI Pin is idle, simply tap the touchpad once to wake it up, and move your hand out to the display spot and center it in your palm. As with most new technologies, there's a learning curve, so give yourself a couple of minutes to get used to it, and you'll get going in no time. Now that we've covered finding the display, let's explore home to see how you can seamlessly control it. Home is your starting point. To navigate between options, just tilt your hand. This motion highlights the controls you can select. At the center of home, you'll see the time. When this is highlighted, bring your thumb and index finger together until you hear a sound and release. This picks the time and lets you cycle through the weather and date. Tilt your hand back to the nearby button and bring your thumb and index finger together to select it. Nearby shows you local information about what's around you. To go back home or any previous view, simply close and then open your hand. At the bottom of home is Catch Me Up. It's a summary of recent events like messages or calls, helping you stay caught up. Every experience has a menu with additional options. Gently push your hand away from your chest to get to it. Once you're there, pull your hand back comfortably. Now in the home menu, you can roll your hand around, kind of like there's a marble on there. You can move through options like making phone calls, sending messages, listening to music, capturing photos and videos, and adjusting the settings. Also in the home menu, you can get a quick preview of your battery life and connection status in the bottom corners. To get back home, close and open your hand. Remember, when you're done, you can just put your hand down. It's designed to be simple and natural to use. Now that we've covered the fundamentals, let's put it all in action. Playing your favorite music is easy and simple on AI Pin. 
You can ask for some chill songs to unwind after a long day at work, or you can play a specific song, album, or artist. Press and hold one finger on the touchpad and say, Play the Flow by Dame Funk. To pause, use one finger and double tap. Music will play out loud through the Presonic speaker, and you can always connect to any Bluetooth speaker or headphones if you want to. Controlling volume or playback of music is easy. Drag up on the touchpad to make AI pin louder, or drag down to make the volume more personal. To pause or resume the music, double tap. To skip to the next song, swipe across the touchpad from your left side to your right side. And to go back to a previous song, just swipe across the opposite way from your right side to your left. Of course, all of this is available by voice as well. Whenever music is playing, the laser ink display is available with music controls and track information. Roll your hand to highlight the control you want to pick and bring your thumb and index finger together to select it. Just like in home, the music experience has additional options. Gently push your hand away from your chest to see the music menu and pull your hand back in to use it. Because AI Pin is a contextual computer, it can understand what it's doing at all times. So when you're listening to music, you can ask AI Pin anything you want to know about the song. When did this song come out? This song came out in 2019. You don't need to open or manage any apps. You can just ask and seamlessly get an answer. If you return to home while playing music, you can always go back to music by selecting back to music. AI Pin makes it easy to stay present and in the moment while capturing your memories in a way that feels genuine and authentic. You can use the touchpad to take a photo instantly. Just double tap with two fingers. The trust light will glow green, which means that the camera's on at that moment. You'll hear AI Pin take three photos, which are used to give you the best photo from that moment without you having to crop, color correct, or frame the capture. The ultra wide field of view is designed to capture what you see, so you can be sure you got everything in frame. If you need to make sure you got the capture you wanted, you can raise your hand to laser in and preview the shot. To take a video with AI Pin, you can use your voice and say, record a video. You'll hear a chime indicating that AI Pin has started capturing a 15 second video and another chime once the recording has finished. You can also use the touchpad to start a video. Just use two fingers, double tap, hold, and lift. If you choose to end that capture early, you can double tap with one finger to stop the recording. Just like with photos, you can raise your hand to laser in and see a thumbnail preview of the video. For more options, gently push your hand out and pull it back into a comfortable position. You'll see options to share, upload, and delete the video. When you're ready to check out your photos and videos from the day, they're available to browse and search on humane.center. It's important to remember that when you're on the go, a thumbnail preview of your captures are uploaded to humane.center. And when your AI pin and booster are charging and connected to Wi-Fi, your videos and photos will upload at full resolution. As you use AI pin, you're building your AI, which caters responses and recommendations to your preferences, personality, and style. Your AI can also become your personal memory co-pilot when you explicitly tell AI Pin to remember things for you. Remember that my neighbor's kids' names are Sarah and Allie. Noted. The neighbor's kids' names are Sarah and Allie. You can take note of more temporary information too. Remember that I parked on the ninth floor. Your car is parked on the ninth floor at 1563rd Street. Later on, you can ask, what are my neighbor's kids' names? Or, where did I park? An AI pin will use your AI for relevant answers or help you remember what you've told it previously. Your Humane subscription comes with a new phone number on the Humane network. This means you can use your AI pin to reach your synced contacts just by saying, call Andy. When you're making a call with AI PIN, the trust light will glow magenta. Hey, Yanir. How are you? Good. Excited to see you later. Can't wait. To hang up while you're on a call, just use one finger and double tap. 
Regardless of if you're on a run, cooking a meal, or simply taking a moment to chill with a friend, AIPIN's built-in speaker allows you to take your calls hands-free and on the go. If you need to take your calls privately, AIPIN also supports any Bluetooth headset. Trusted contacts let your AIPIN know who can call you and which messages are important. You can choose which contacts are trusted at humane.center. AIPIN will only ring when a call comes in from a trusted contact, and its beacon will glow magenta. To see who's calling, raise your hand to laser in. Then roll your hand to reject or accept the call. I'm gonna reject it. To quickly silence an incoming call, tap the touchpad once. To quickly answer, tap twice. When you're on a call, use the laser ink display to mute, put the call on hold, or dial in another number. When you're trying to reach someone outside of your contacts, you can use your voice to dial any number. If you're trying to reach a business, just ask AI PIN, find the phone number for Doma Sushi in San Francisco, and then call them. Sending a message on your AI PIN is easy. Just tell it what you want to say. Tell Robin I have a schedule conflict for our 2 p.m., so I can't make it. Your message to Robin says, Hey Robin, I have a schedule conflict at 2 p.m. and won't be able to make it. Sorry for the inconvenience. Okay to send? Because AI PIN is powered by intelligence, you can focus on what points you want to say and direct the style. Also ask if 3 p.m. would work instead, and make the message sound a bit more to the point. Your message to Robin says, Hey Robin, I have a schedule conflict at 2 p.m. Can we reschedule for 3 p.m. instead? Okay to send? While crafting your message, the laser ink display is available for you to quickly review the message for any adjustments, or just send it. When you receive a message from a trusted contact, you'll hear a chime, and AI Pin's beacon will glow turquoise. You can laser in to see the message and use your voice to reply back. Sounds good. Messages you write to trusted contacts will automatically send if you don't raise your hand to laser in and cancel or edit the message. Remember, trusted contacts let your AI PIN know who can call you and which messages are important, and you can choose them at humane.center. For those moments when you need to send something quickly, you can reply with an emoji using the laser ink display. When you pick the emoji button, you'll see a stack of emojis, and you can push your hand out and in to find the emoji you want, and then just pick it and send it. As you receive messages and calls, your AI pin will sift through what's coming in and make sure you're notified only when you need to be. This means you can stay focused on what's in front of you and be confident you're not missing anything you can't miss. Now you're in control of how you get notified. And when you want to get a summary, you can use your voice to get caught up. Catch me up. Colin suggests going to the mountains this weekend for skiing. And Freddie sent multiple messages asking to hang out. <laughs> Your AI pin will give you a concise summary of everything you missed and what you need to know about. If you want a quick way to get caught up, just triple tap the touchpad with one finger. You're all caught up. If you want to view what you've missed on the laser ink display, raise your hand to view home, tilt down and select the summary. And now you can pick through to get caught up. If you want to view your most recent messages, you can get to them through the home menu. To search through your messages, just ask AI PIN what you're looking for. What's the name of the coffee shop Jenna mentioned that we're meeting at later today? Telescope Coffee. Your AI PIN is your personal interpreter. It can help you understand and speak over 50 languages, all while being present with the person you're speaking with. All you have to do is speak, and it'll translate your conversations in near real time. Keep two fingers down on the touchpad while you or someone else is speaking to translate. Angela? Yes? Pal Hotel Cosmos, verdad? One second, please. I'm sorry, I don't speak Spanish, but I'm going to the Cosmo Hotel. Lo siento, no hablo español, pero voy al Hotel Cosmo. ¿Cómo hiciste eso? How did you do that? Let me show you. You don't need to tell your AI pin to change the translation between English or another language. You don't even need to tell it what language you want to translate to. 
That's because at its core, AI Pin is a contextual computer and it uses the context of location to detect the most common languages spoken around and automatically listens for those languages. So when you bring your AI Pin to a new country, it'll be ready to translate right out of the gate. You can always control the conversation language explicitly as well. Just use one finger to tell AI Pin, translate in Japanese, set to Japanese, and you're ready to go. If you need to connect to headphones, Wi-Fi, or find out more about your AI Pin like your phone number, tap the touchpad and laser into settings, which you can find by pushing your hand out to the home menu and rolling down and picking settings. Connecting to Wi-Fi networks with your AI pin is easy. Just say, turn on Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi enabled. And raise your hand to laser in and find the network you want to connect to. Once you've picked your network, just use your voice to enter the password by selecting dictate and speak out the password one letter at a time. Capital H, three, L, L, O, there, exclamation point. When you're done, you can edit, delete, or connect to the Wi-Fi. With quick setup, you can present a Wi-Fi QR code to your AI pin. The trust light will glow white from side to side when trying to find the code, and it will automatically connect. If you don't have a code for your Wi-Fi network, you can make one on any web browser at humane.center forward slash Wi-Fi. AI pin can connect to any Bluetooth headset or speaker. To pair, put your headset in pairing mode. Tell your AI pin to turn on Bluetooth. Bluetooth enabled. Raise your hand to laser in and select your device to connect. AI pin will only show Bluetooth devices that it is compatible with. When your AI pin is locked, your data and accounts are guarded behind a passcode. By default, your AI pin will lock after it's detached from a magnetic attachment like a booster, latch, or clip. To unlock your AI pin, Laser in. To enter your passcode, push your hand out and in. When you find the number you want, bring your thumb and index finger together to pick it. Continue until you've entered your passcode. If you've made a mistake, you can push your hand all the way to the back of the stack and pick delete. You can also drop your hand and bring it up to start all over. It's important to remember that your AI pin's passcode is the same passcode you set for it on humane.center, and you can always change it in settings. If you ever need to turn off your AI pin, just tell it to shut down or turn off. When you'd like to turn your AI pin back on, simply slide your booster up to detach it and reattach the booster. TrustLock disables the camera, 3D sensor, and microphone when the lock is turned on. It's meant for the moments when you want to be sure you won't accidentally turn them on. Turn Trust Lock on in Settings. When it's on, you won't be able to take a photo, ask a question, or use the laser ink display. To turn Trust Lock off, press and hold the touchpad. And Photo Capture, Laser Ink, and the microphone are available again. The charge case is designed to store and charge your AI pin and booster. When your charge case is fully charged, the indicator will glow green. If it needs to be charged, but still has some power, the indicator will glow orange. If you don't see an indicator when you open it, the charge case is fully depleted and will need power. When you put your AI pin and booster inside, the indicator will show the combined charge level of your AI pin and booster. Keeping a booster in the case allows you to experience AI pin's perpetual power system. The case will keep it charged if the one attached to your AI pin gets depleted. The embedded magnets in the charge case keep the booster secure so it won't rattle around in your pocket or bag. The charge pad, adapter, and cable are designed to sit on a nightstand or desk. It's a place for your AI pin to rest after using it and charge up. While charging on the charge pad and connected to Wi-Fi, your AI pin will upload the full resolution version of your photos and videos from the day. When a new software update is available, your AI pin will also update while on the charge pad. Keeping a booster on the charge pad allows you to experience AI Pin's perpetual power system. The charge pad will charge your booster and keep it ready if the one attached to your AI Pin gets depleted. When you place your AI Pin and booster on the charge pad, the indicator will show the combined charge level. To see the current charge level, tap anywhere on the charge pad. The indicator will glow green when your AI Pin and booster are fully charged. 
If your AI pin and booster need to be charged, the indicator will glow orange. You can accessorize, style, and protect your AI pin with a shield. They come in nine different colorways. To place a shield on your AI pin, detach the booster and place your AI pin on a table. Then align the bottom of the shield around the bottom of your AI pin and place your thumbs on the top of the shield. Press the top of the shield down until it's snug around your AI pin and you're good to go. When you're ready to remove the shield, be sure to remove it from the top of the AI pin first. Humane.Center is where you can review memories, captures, notes, and data created with your AI pin. You can get to Humane.Center from any web browser on your phone, computer, TV, or even your car. Just type in Humane.Center and go. The Memories tab on Humane.Center allows you to view recent captures, AI queries, music, notes, and phone calls from your AI pin. To review all your captured photos and videos, you can click on the Captures tab, where you can browse and search through your photos. The icon you might see on the bottom right corner of a capture means that the full resolution version will be uploaded the next time your AI pin is connected to Wi-Fi and power. Click on any capture to view it. Now you can share, save, or delete it. Every photo capture on AI pin takes three shots. By default, you'll see the best one, and the others are available to view and download too. Videos are viewable in the browser, so you can check them out before you download. To delete multiple captures at once, hover over a capture and click the check mark in the bottom left. Select the other photos you want to delete, then hit delete. My data is the place where you can see and manage all your data. Here you'll see an overview of your interactions with AI pin, like the questions you've asked, calls you've made, notes you've written, and more. Select a section to view and manage data in more detail. If you find data you want to remove, you can simply delete it from your account and Humane servers. The bottom right corner of Humane.Center is where you can quickly get more information about your account and subscription, your device, and also manage your connected services and contacts. You can browse the list of available services to add or remove from your account. We'll be constantly adding more services for you as part of your subscription, so be sure to look out for updates regularly. You can also view all your contacts on Humane.Center. If you've connected a contact service, they'll automatically sync with that account. But you can also create a new contact by hitting the plus button right here. Trusted contacts are a way for you to mark someone as being important to you. This means that your AI pin will ring or chime whenever you receive a call or message from them. Otherwise, your AI pin will silence calls and messages from numbers that are not marked as trusted contacts. To mark someone as a trusted contact, click on the three dots to the right of their name and click Add Trusted Contact. To edit a contact, just click their name to expand. Now that you know how to ask questions, capture memories, translate and more, you're ready to start using your AI pin.